Gus's favorite day of the year, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. <laughs> right, that's true. You can go back in time and take a look at some of them. I don't think I've ever been in the same room with you until yesterday, Gus. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Gus, is, Gus you two is, are kind of, you feel like equals now. I think no, so. I, I, I feel so. I'm a Gus guy. We'll get to that. We'll get, we'll get a ton to get to here, as, as, the, as the kids used to say in 1994. Uh, Justin Trudell, the new co-producer of the show, is here. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Kirk. Wow. Huh? I said, good morning, Kirk. That doesn't sound great. It's not far away, yeah. Good morning, Kirk. Justin, fix the fucking mic, okay? Get your shit together. You're fine. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, Here's the autopsy, I suppose. We should get into it. So, a couple of days before Friday, Dan Katz and I talked. And Dan had said, you know, I had talked, Dan had talked to Hank, and they were like, like, Justin just should be on your show in some form or fashion. I said, well, I agree. You know, in a perfect world, he doesn't want to do it. And then Dan said, look, we're kind of backlogged here. We're not going to we're not gonna be hiring anybody for a while. So, you know, Justin can wait get a couple the, of years. Get this kid out of our hair, for God's yeah. sake. <laughs> Justin can wait a while or not. And I said, well, I don't want Justin to take this job because the Chicago job's not available. You know, I want him to do this if he wants to do it. If he doesn't want to do it, I don't want him to do it. Right. So I reached out to him on Friday, right, Justin? Yeah, yes. Friday. Yeah. I spoke to Mike first. It was, yeah. I spoke to Mike. I spoke to uh I spoke to Dan. I spoke to a couple of people just to get an idea. Um, I was I reached out to Justin to, you know, kind of made my last pitch. Honestly, I don't I don't know what I was gonna do if Justin said no. I think I The M M&M and M boys? Yeah. Yeah. I mean I don't I said to Gus yesterday when he was in here, we were filming that video. I think it was worth it for Gus to get fired so Mick couldn't get the job. He seemed very satisfied. <laughs> no producer. So Justin and I talked Friday, he, and, you know, I said, this is the deal. You know, um, like, you know, you're going to sort of just, you'll be in charge of the Twitter account, a lot of social media, but also, like, the Delaware thing. You know, like, if Justin woke up one day or, yes, or on a Thursday and wanted to go do that on a Friday, just tell me. Say, I'm not going to be, I'm going to do something. And I know he'll be working. He doesn't have to be in the studio all the time. Right. So I just think it's just different. He has sort of creative control, whatever he wants to do. And I think he's a little older now. We'll, we'll talk to him about it. But I think he's a little older now. And I don't think the things that bothered him two or three years ago will bother him necessarily today. So, yeah, here we go. I don't know. Like I said, I'm putting from a show structure perspective, uh, I'm looking at these two as equals now. Like, Justin doesn't work for Coleman. So it's they're both kind of there. Coleman's going to stay in that chair. He's the a producer. But like Justin's doing his own thing, and we'll see how they how they coordinate. Does, on some level, does Coleman kind of work for Justin though? Not really, because I don't know what you trust Justin more than Coleman for sure. As far as I don't mean trust like Coleman to lie or anything, but like yeah. to do things correctly. I guess. Yeah. I, um, I I mean I don't know. I, I mean, the show sounds like shit today. I don't, I don't know. That's Coleman. That's yeah, Coleman. I'm, I'm I don't know what's wrong. I, I, I don't. That's a good question, Mike. I, I, no, I would say no. It's, I look at them right now as equals, and but they have different planets they're orbiting right now. Separate but equal. Separate but equal. <laughs> That's Gus. Right. Today of all days. <laughs> Separate but equal. Yeah. So I think um, but it'll be interesting to see this dynamic. I don't know. It's a tremendous amount of, of, of breast size back there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is what Steve. Now he's going to be Stevie Bits going after. You know, everyone's favorite postman, Postman Gus. It's unbelievable. You gotta Just give, the mailman. You got to give the dog a biscuit. You got to <laughs> give a biscuit. What do you regret? Definitely, definitely not doing more with the uh, best of earlier in, in that part for sure. Um, and then just more so. It's, I have an announcement. I'm sorry, Gus. I have an announcement right now. If you're okay with it. Yeah, no, of course. I'll pay you, obviously. Yes. Andrew Augustus will be in charge of this no. year's best of. Yes. Okay. You accept, you accept I it. accept. I okay, that. tweet that out. You are, it is yours. <laughs> I accept. We'll figure out, we'll hammer out, a, uh, whatever you financially will make that work for you. I already you. started doing it already. So, so you're going to handle the best of. I can handle the best of. All right, tweet that out. Gus wow. will be doing on his own the best of. That's fun. That's People, awesome. Gus is going to be. If you ever a... say anything to do something, it's going to get done. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gus. What was that? If you ever say anything to do something, it's going to get done. <laughs> <There> you, <go. laughs> you seem way more relaxed than you were back there, though. Because there's less I have to worry about. Yeah. And this is Drew August. <laughs> Drew, right. Sir Drew August. He's here. He's here. He's here. You have any ideas? Anything you want to do? I mean, I, I genuinely like that Gus Works idea. So, okay. like, like with going on the We know you do, Gus. Yeah, we so know. going on the job hunt, like, <laughs> that could actually so be something. So do I. I, don't know. Uh, I, I will say, you said uh, maybe Coleman will get to the Snell era. I think he might get to the Snell era in 2042. Oh. Um, oh. Was, it, oh. was, it, yes. was it last week? 
uh, Coleman said. <laughs> yes. Coleman said that he. I've just been got, thinking the same thing. He just, just got to the part <laughs> where Jerry Callahan was fired from Entercom. Yes, because uh, I went dude, back to. Hold go on, forward. Coleman. Shut up for a second. Coleman. <laughs> just, <laughs> shut up. Shut up. He likes ahead. to talk over that B producer. Coleman. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what episode <laughs> of the Kirkman and Jerry show? Callahan was fired? I remember I was going to pick up Kate. She was at camp. It was a Friday in the summer. I'm going to say that was July of 2020. Uh, it was the 19th episode of the Kirkman Hand Show. When Jerry got fired? Wow, really? Yes. It was that early? Yes. Oh, 19. I, mean, I meant summer of 19. Yes. Yeah, that would have been when we started. Yeah, it was right. the 19th episode. Horse camp. That's right. Uh, the 19th episode. Wow. So, so. people, so I hear people say they like, so like they listen to old episodes on time to speed. Is Coleman listening to it in like <laughs> negative, like 40? But also, like that's, the nineteenth. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, for We'll lay down. <laughs> Steve, my good man. So, oh, oh, oh. Ha, da, e, e, ca, tes. Coleman's like, this is pretty good. <laughs> That's <laughs> a really interesting perspective, AJ. <laughs> Coleman's like, you guys used to do 14 hour episodes? <laughs> That's why I figured the best time should be that <laughs> So is Julie back in? Why do you say that? Because I had reached out yesterday asking like just stuff about Portland, like wanted to make sure everything was she had done, was right. lining up with everything I had done going into Thursday. Mm -hmm. So it seemed to be She's like on probation she talked status. To you. Okay. She's on probation status. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. But then I heard yesterday Montante saying he was talking to her. So I'm just like, we're fucking doing this again. Like, what the hell? So I don't know. What else? What do you got, Gus? Anything? No. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> but I think Two things were his downfall. Justin in Delaware, which is not really Gus's fault, but it got my head moving, and best of. Yeah. Which yeah. is also Coleman's fault. So, I mean, like, you know. They but, said, but uh, those two things combined proved, like, oh, Gus isn't the guy for bits, and he's also not the guy to produce, like, you know, technically that you can't rely on. You no, know? But, but I would say it says more about, for the bad stuff about Gus, his ability to come in here and do that thing yesterday, be here today. That oh, is more sure. good than that stuff is bad. Yes. Like I, my Gus, Gus is my guy now. Sure. I, nobody, if anybody's gonna, have to, you have to deal with me first. I don't think Coleman would be here. No, I'd be here. No, I don't think no. so. He'd, He'd be, be here. bitching I and think crying. He would be no, <laughs> be, calling, be calling Caroline up. You have to call Coleman. Coleman have to call that guy to help pack his stuff before That's he's leaving. Yeah. 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 yeah, you have to you have to pack. They'd be like Coleman. Be like, no, I get. It. I understand. Coleman's got a little bit of Mick in him. A little oh bit. Oh my god. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. defend him. <laughs> but you, you know what I'm saying, though, oh, Justin? Yeah, I, no, I see a little. Not oh, the bad. Not the bad. Coleman's great. Great guy. But he's got a little bit. But he's young. He's a kid. He's a kid. Mick in what way? Because I don't think of. Coleman is like a snake. Got, no, 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 no. Oh, no. That There's woe. a few things that can get under his skin. Yeah, that a, little he woe, like. a little woe is me. A little bit. Mm. A little bit. A little bit. He's It's, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get him. Or we'll break him. We'll, we'll see. see. Great. <laughs> I would say Coleman will not be here a year from today. Wow. That's my prediction. I think he's going to take a... He already, look, he already looks mad. I think I think that's yeah, a good, I, I, I think I think it's a good duo is, back there. Yeah. I think he's a, yeah, so I here. What'd you say? I like You think he'll be here a year from today, Justin? Oh, I'll be here. Not you, him. Uh... Yeah, I think he'll be here. Do you want... Is it important to you to be known as the lead producer of the show? I don't care. You can call me... Do you the care, Coleman? I, I like the co-producer thing if it okay. has to be. Like, that's that's cool. Do you buy that, uh, Gus? Or not? I, yeah. I respect, <laughs> no, I respect Justin I really, a lot. Like, you? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, he's he's always come in here and kind of tried to help out as much as he What could does this mean about grill for Grill on the Hill? It's true. It's done. 
It's done. It's done. I will. I I do have one, a favor to ask of you. You can do the icy stuff still. I can. Yes. Was my, that it? My man. Was that it? <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, of course. Yeah. You can do girl on the hills. I, we'll figure it out. Whatever you want to do, we'll figure it out. Did oh. you have to put in uh, two weeks' notice? Uh, well, there's no, not really. I, the events are covered. So oh, that oh, that's right. I right forgot. It's the off season. Is that what he calls it around the girls? Two weeks notice. <laughs> When he puts it I, in? I, I will say it was it was emotional calling some of the girls yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Just begging their dads to put them on the phone. Justin, who's gonna help us with our homework? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Do you call them? Do you know all their nap times, like schedule wise, before times. you call them or not? I have more nap times than they do. <laughs> what do you do with the with that sort of that chart you kept of when these girls are gonna menstruate for the first time? <laughs> are you gonna, like, will you release that to the public or no? I'm gonna frame it, put it behind you. Are you? Gonna, are, did you have to tell these people you're leaving Girl on the Hill or no? Yeah, I told them. You did? I did. Who'd you tell? I told the owner. Okay. Both owners. Uh huh. Um, the other manager, and then uh, the Shack girls. That's a lot of the calls. Shack girls. Shack girls. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're calling the Shack girls in January? Yeah. I, I They're not working there for six months though. Uh, Aren't they all college right now? Yeah, you that's a lot get, of calls to have to make. If yeah. you're a college girl, okay, and like you're hanging out on the weekend, you, know, you, you just drag, you just hang out with your, listen. you get a boyfriend, and you get a text from your creepy old. <laughs> no, 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 you don't understand. Just, you don't understand just, the Shack mentality. Just, just, no, so, no, no. just so you Shack know, no, no, just, just, I've got some bad news. Just so, <laughs> who is this guy? They're like all fucking having fun. Please. They're watching the games or banging their boyfriends. I'm going whatever. to be taking leave. <laughs> <laughs> what was the text? Let me see. What was it? It wasn't. It wasn't a text. It was phone calls. Oh, that's the right thing to do. It is. What did you say? I said, hey, I, I, I got good news. I, I got a full-time Okay, I got to go. Bye. I got a party here. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? No. Were they emotional or no? Some of them were. Well, you'll still go by the shack, right? Of course. Yeah. I'm a shack guy. Shack mentality. Yeah, you got to do that. That's okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> How many did you call? Three. So far. So you have more so calls far, to make. Make a more calls. So you just call six people to leave this job? No, just to, I mean, it's the right thing to do. Oh, I mean, you're, fr- you're like friends with these people. Yeah. How old, okay. how old are That's they? That's a little different. The Shack girls? Yeah. 22, 21, 19, 23. friends with a 19-year-old? I'm not friends with them. You just said you were friends with them. It works with them. We are kind of friends. <laughs> how old are you? I'm 27. She's 19. Yeah, but we're not That's like hanging out. We're not like, we're like, <laughs> Mike, take it grass, easy. On the, grass in the field, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we're like work friends. <laughs> but, you, but they work for you, though. Was a cool guy, Justin Weinstein. It's <laughs> a cool guy, Justin Weinstein. <laughs> God, uh, what else? Can I get a uh, six-inch white? I know. I know you said uh, things aren't really planned out on this show, but John kind of took it to the next level. John from Scranton. Well, in that video, like in that video, I can see that's when Justin found out. Like, I, legit. That's a, like, Justin's not a very planned person. He kind of goes with the flow. Hold on. The video we did yesterday. <laughs> yes. He thought I was cleaning. There's no way he thought that. Is he a fucking idiot? <laughs> I thought he was a crackhead, but what the hell is he? What? <laughs> uh, Why? Well, what? Well, normally. So Coleman just happened to be filming him? <laughs> well, <laughs> Mike, I just happened to randomly be here, look at my phone, and say, oh, well. Out Thanks, loud. Gus. Yeah, I'm always talking out loud, as you Do know. Do I hire Dale Bear? <laughs> when would this be? Like, when would this be during the day? What is he, a fucking retard? What is he talking about? Oh. You called me, and I'm sitting in the booth. <laughs> what is he talking about? He thought, he thought yeah, that's Yeah, one. right. John's like, you know, I really thought I'd hire Dale Bear. <laughs> <laughs> he thought that, that's when I found it. Maybe you made up the decision, but that's when I found out, and that was my reaction. <laughs> what? Play that again. That can't be what he means. That can't be what he means. Out in that video, like in that video, I can see that's when Justin found out. Like I, legit, <laughs> that's a, like, Justin's not a very planned person. He kind of goes with the flow, from what? what I've learned from Justin. What does that what? even mean? I, hey, great acting, Justin. What? Are, what, are, just, <laughs> what are, you were, you're so lucky you were cleaning the toilet. That time. <laughs> I think he thought, I think maybe, Mick would have this job. Maybe. What do the, the other guys say? The Joe's husband and Menace, they go along with this sh- fucking shit. Uh, Menace tells me he's like, that's wrong. And then John oh. backs up on it. Okay. Jesus but Christ. I think maybe he thought that you were like, hey, tell Justin to clean the toilet. I have a surprise for him. <laughs> oh, and then you, you weren't in on the. Bed. And then you go. What, 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 what if Justin was like, "Yeah, I don't want the job." <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. You the camera, you go. Still not time. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even get what he's talking about. Hey, cocaine is a hell of a drug. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What? <laughs> oh my God, these guys are great. Coleman, go ahead. Are you willing to get your tits out and breastfeed Andrew Augustus for the show or no? <laughs> Do anything for the show. 
<laughs> wow. Would Gus be willing to oh, participate yeah. in that? That's like his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a fun image. Would you be willing to breastfeed <laughs> Gus in Portland for the audience? I'm just asking. I don't want to put you. The answer can be no. I like the way that he's smiling at me. <laughs> <laughs> you can say no. I don't want to put you. You work for me, so the answer is no. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. I'll. I'll... <laughs> uh, why, why don't you know? We... Portland can be a sexual place. Just saying. All right. What does that mean? What does that mean? Isn't Portland where yeah, Steve was humping the blow up doll? Steve or Dave? Or, or Dave. Someone was humping a blow-up doll in Portland. Oh, that was Dave, yeah. I think, and I think he ate the doll's asshole. Yeah, that was, yes. yeah, that was. Yeah, so just say true. It'd be wild if what he's referring to is like Steve was just doing it backstage. <laughs> I think he was. <laughs> I, think he was. <laughs> I, think I think Steve was fucking around with him and Dave did it on stage. Hmm. Do you think... Oh, well, thank you, Kevin. Do you think he would lactate Coleman? Listen, you got to buy tickets Thursday to find that's right. That's right, boy. That's, that's what a buddy. tease. That's a tease. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, uh, Cassandra. Hey, it's Justin. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I know. I know you're in class right now. Can you step outside for a home? home? <laughs> this is going to be difficult. This, is, this isn't <sighs> This isn't too far off. of. You know, those, <laughs> you know, you know those, those 12 hours a week you work at that shack place in the summer you don't really care about, you're hung over the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> I won't be managing you anymore. Instead, there'll be a whole different creep coming in here to manage you this summer. Is that did someone suggest that to you that you should call them or do you have a What's relationship? The right move. Are you close enough with them that you felt like it was literally when Nixon resigned, he did reach out to all his cabinet members. What like, you do do that? Right. That's the right move. Yeah. Well, what was it like? What would you say? Like okay, like we'll do it. Right, ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, blank. Go ahead, Belinda. Huh? Um, oh, these are young kids. I, uh, <laughs> how's everything going with you? Hey. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I got some good news, bad news. Um, I got a full time job with uh, with uh, with that podcast. I'm I'm always talking about uh, Kirk Manhattan show. It's it, but uh, sadly, I'm I'm not going to be able to uh, to do the sh do the shack anymore. And and work, work for real. <laughs> this is a real conversation you had. Okay. Well, like this is what you said to these people. Yes. Can I do the other end for a second? Sure. Good. Set that up again, Justin. Ring ring. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I think I know where this is going. Yeah, Aubrey. Yeah. How's uh how's college going? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> what's new with you? What what uh, what's up? What do you need? Uh, hey, I was just calling to uh, good news, bad news. Uh, I got I I unfortunately I, I got a uh, full time job. Nice. Uh, somewhere else. <laughs> I'm and uh, I won't be coming back to grill. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. Could you, does this mean like you'll stop texting me at night? I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't text them. I don't text them. This is Aubrey's father, okay? <laughs> Leave Aubrey no. alone. No, no. The fathers are great. The fathers are great. <laughs> what, did she bring you home the meal? No. <laughs> Justin also called the parents. He called their relatives. He wanted everybody to know. Your daughters will no longer be Can you imagine privilege. having a summer job? I had summer jobs. We all did. I worked at Dunkin' Donuts for like three summers. The managers were all fine. Can you imagine if your fucking manager called you in January to tell you they were going to be there six months from now? Yeah. Well, it's just knows you hire girls without fathers. <laughs> <laughs> Why not one big group text? Like to all of them at once. Because it's more personal. Yeah. Plus, those are for his dick pics. I mean, no, no, no. I can't, I can't even, like, <laughs> I just like the idea of these girls. Well, I guess they're home from college right now, right? Is it going to be like Maybe. a, is it going to be like a goodbye? Farewell, Justin. I was thinking, do we all go out? Do I take them out? Ever, uh, do I take them all out for like hibachi? You take them out. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's your last day. They should take you out if this is. Nobody place. should be taking anybody. Out. <laughs> should you take them out for hibachi? Yeah. That's fun. Everyone loves hibachi. Girls are like slaves. <sighs> Not slaves. <laughs> out for hibachi with their old creepy boss. I'm an old creepy boss. I like the idea of the big toast by Justin at the end. Took. It's been a hell of a run. <laughs> I I'm going to cry thinking about it. I love the shack so much. What would the speech be? From, we'll I've reached it. the top Just of the hill. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> I am happy to front this dinner if, like, a couple of minute fans and I can go to it. Um, I mean, you took my job. 
Speaks facts. Oh, so do it. Anything, but okay. Yeah, what the hell is that? <laughs> I, I, I just wanted an invite to this. I like hibachi. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to do a line of cocaine. I like hibachi. <laughs> now, cocaine's a hell of a drug. Right. Yeah. Am I, is that what it is? Um, yeah, I mean. Because let's be honest, Justin. The men of the fans are the only ones who's going to show up for this dinner. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, you know, these past couple of years have been great. Uh, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for that. I, I can't do it now. A lot of respect. I love it. Yeah. And that, my, my main thing is, like, don't ever let. Oh. Shaq be, you know, people think think less of the Shaq. Oh wow, that's good. oh that's, Justin. You know what Justin? Like you know what Justin's gonna? I, I just realized that. You know what Justin's gonna be? That next manager, they're gonna complain about him to Justin. Yeah. About oh. Ju- yeah. Oh yeah. And he'll be like, he'll oh, be like, yeah. at first he'll be like, just g- g- give him a chance, guys. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then eventually he'll be like, it's not how I would have done it. But yeah, like <laughs> I get it. Like yeah. look, mayonnaise is mayonnaise, but like, well, that's all. That's a hell of an order. Like I don't know. Like what, what would the criticisms be? Like, I know you run this through your head already. So you're saying you're, basically oh, he'd be culinating now. Oh, with I mean, I don't know. Correct. We just don't have, like, <laughs> the culinating Steve text thread they have. Today. We just don't have any, like, I don't know, like, like Jose just never, like, orders high noons or anything. Like, we, yeah. we just don't have any, we right. don't have a good selection of stuff. You'd be like, my phone's all fucked up. you like, come over to my apartment. We could talk about it. Or, <laughs> <is> that... <laughs> apartment. <laughs> oh, sorry, Justin. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Is there if this did if this you think anywhere in America you think anywhere in the history of the world a former manager of a seasonal shack is invited his four employees out for hibachi dinner to celebrate <laughs> yeah. his run? Yes, that that exact scenario has happened. You think? Oh yeah, yeah. I, that, think so. I don't think so. I think it's never happened before. I think it's tradition. I think whoever hired Justin told him about this process. Sure. <laughs> I think it's longstanding. What tradition. was the most? Who was the most emotional without giving you names? Who was you know? Uh, the girls that were there last year. Or yeah, like sure. two years ago. That was the run. Oh, yeah. 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 Two, wait, you call people who haven't worked there in two years? No, but like they were <laughs> You're there. saying two year old girls? <laughs> that's what I heard. No. Oh, the people that have been there the longest. With longer saying. tenure, yes. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. That's a hell of a two years. Yes. That is a lot. That's two summers. That's almost five <laughs> that's almost five months. I like the yeah. Right, right. Hmm. What's the most emo- what's the best memory of that whole run? Oh, best memory. Probably just driving around on the golf cart on the with the on the beer cart. Wind in your hair. Yeah. What's just, the wor- what's the worst memory? When they first got worst the memory? No. I don't know if there's a. It's just all great. But yeah. Why would you leave that for this? Because it's. He's it's thinking. Not, about it. No, it's not. <laughs> Boy, I don't know, do Justin. It. I think it's a mistake. Is there, uh, if this hibachi dinner happened, are there a couple that you haven't would definitely go? Oh yeah. Yeah. But there are a couple that you don't want to invite. In no, no. How about the next managers? Would you invite him if he's already there in place? Kind of give him a. Get, 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 or if not, you can give him a little, little tour, like a little. This is how this is how it works. Like you know, presidents write each other letters. No, this old girl has some stories. <sighs> no, they can do their thing. <laughs> Grill away, my friend. They can do their thing. Grill away. Yeah. yeah. Let me take you out to this lake. <laughs> <laughs> people drown in that lake. How uh, you think this guy will do a good job? Because uh, there, pe- there is no people you trust are going to hire him, right? Yeah. I hope so. Would you have a uh, say in it? Would you want to say in it? No. You wouldn't? No. Too close. Yeah. Yeah, that gotta, hurts. Gotta I understand. Cut it. Sure. I understand. I'll, I'll, like, swing by at, like, a random day in July. Don't, no, don't do that. Like, don't. Hey, no, don't, just... don't, don't do that. <laughs> if you golf, that would be different. Don't do that. Don't, don't please go. don't do that. You're definitely going to do that, though. 100% going to Oh, go fucking loser. Don't do that. 100% going to do that. Do you ever, like, did, did you ever, like, have animosity for a former place you worked? Sure. I think it's a little <laughs> different. <laughs> <laughs> so different I didn't realize That's what he was going for <laughs> I was like I thought he was genuinely asking Like a Dunkin Donuts Did you hate the people It's great We have all these We have all these stories Going on one day And like August Justin's like I want to do an emergency show To go after this fucking new producer This new fucking manager This person's fucking up He's fucking up this chip order We're doing the fucking show well, did you, did you, I can see Justin going in With like his ball cap Pulled down Like I hope they don't recognize me <laughs> I just want a brewski And be on my way And then they don't recognize him And he's kind of like annoyed Takes his hat no off No chance they would not recognize me Got a lightsaber Well listen you know, I would say let this new guy fly let it, Of course let, yeah. You want the place to succeed Yes no, But you kind of don't right I, you know, I, I, very, I, I like the owners a lot. What's your last day? Uh, well, it's like kind of like already happened. Exactly. There's no, there's nothing like going on. Oh, it's right off now. season. So it's kind of like. Right. I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days when you were in them. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> what a run. But this summer was tough. It was wet. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure it was in that shack. <laughs> okay. Well, you know. not for another couple of years. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway. All right, Mike's back tomorrow. Gus, thank you. We'll see you soon, buddy. Yeah. Uh tickets on sale Thursday. We'll be 
promoting that like crazy. So get ready. We're going to set a record there. I'm looking forward to that huge weekend coming up the end of March. We'll be in Delaware. It's a big, big week coming up here. Uh, maybe the MMM boys. Who knows? Mutt, unfortunately, will be here uh, on Wednesday, right? Yes. Okay. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs> this is great. I want a camera on these two guys right now. This is reminiscent <laughs> this of... This uh, is unbelievable. <laughs> remember... <laughs> Look at these two idiots. <laughs> remember the day Justin produced for you in Riggs? And Justin was trying to hook up the television? No. Oh, yes. He was, yes, he was yes. just pouring sweat. <laughs> it was pouring sweat. It would be like me pouring sweat because I couldn't build a rocket ship. <laughs> it's like, why are you wasting? Like, why can't I You're fly myself? Like, yeah. why don't I have the ability to, 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 to go back in time? I keep trying. Let me try again. No, I'm still here. I'm still in the present. I like, what are they both going to do? Nothing. Like, like, this is a two man job. Justin just walked in there, picked something up, and put it down. Just put the wire up and down. Shuffling papers. Just, what'd you do? Why is the red light on then, Justin? Try blowing on it. There we go. Are we on? Yep, it was unplugged. There we go. Are we actually on YouTube or no? Who knows? Hope so. We all do. Yeah. Well, the CEO of Barstool Store Sports has either resigned or left the building the company. Mm, I know well. You see who broke the story with was, Andrew Marshan was yes. Glass Spiegel. Oh, wow, this guy is on a roll. He's on it. Unbelievable. So uh I had heard like minor whispers, nothing crazy over the last few weeks. And then last night the story came out. I got a bunch of tweets that Erica uh Ayers is her name now, I think. Yeah. Nardini. Is that her maiden Ayers? name? No. Uh, uh I believe Ayers yes. is her, her maiden name and her new name her new married name is Baden or Baden God. or something. I, I'm not gonna pronounce it correctly. Um <clears throat> didn't hear anything from Barstool though. Very strange. I find that odd. So she's leaving the company. We got an email yesterday or something, or the day before about the three o'clock call. Oh, I don't no. know if you got that. I saw the call no. or not. Okay. Uh for once I got it. I assume that's what it is. I don't know. Um so Erica, I guess, is out, I assume. It's the kind of thing where Dave would normally like if it came up that Kevin was leaving or Dan was It'd leaving. Be a press conference. Yeah, if it was like a if somebody broke the story before he did, he didn't comment on the story. Maybe he's doing it for her. I, 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 I mean, I don't really know. I know nothing about why she's leaving. I would guess that her role has been minimized since Dave bought the company back, and she doesn't have to. She, was, I think, was sort of the go-between with Penn, where Dave didn't want to deal with them. Right. So I think her role was bigger when Penn was there, and now it's like, well, what is she going to do? Like, she's Dave has said, like, I'm not really interested in making the company bigger. Right. I don't really care if I make money. I just don't want to lose money. That's not great for. CEO, I don't think. No, and she's a legitimate. I mean, she's the CEO of a half a billion dollar company. Yeah. So I imagine so that's. I imagine she'll want to go on and do something else, I suppose. I, I have not spoken to her since October. Uh, um, so I don't know. Um, I would say our relationship right now is probably a little icy. But she, but when, I, but when, like, you know, in, in the past, whether it was Murchison or when I took mental health leave or contract stuff, she was always great. So, like, overall, for me, Eric is like a plus. Like, I, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, I hate her or anything. I don't. We had an unfortunate interaction in New York. Uh, I'll get over it eventually. I don't think she cares that much about it. You know, like daily um, videos, yes. like where it's like, you know, it, it, look, Eric is also very smart. So, you know, I, I'm sure she will do great in her next job. Overall, for me, she was definitely a plus, like no question. I don't like what she said to me in the office one time. Uh, she probably doesn't remember it. Me, you know me, I'll never get over it. Uh, but like, you know, like overall, like I said, when, we, when I was in real trouble, she was great, like fantastic. So, um, April of 23 was her last podcast. Yeah. Oh, my, my yeah, I haven't kept go. up. I'm sorry. Nor have I. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it had stopped. Um, but like, you know, I, I thought it was strange after Dave bought the company, right after Dave bought the company, she had this big profile of Vanity Fair written about her. And I thought it was strange. I just thought it was like weird timing. I'm like, oh, maybe she's trying to get out. I, yeah. I, I thought that knowing Nothing. I've never. I don't think I've ever spoken to Dave about her well, ever. So I have no idea. I think you even said that to Dave. That isn't. Wouldn't that be normal for a CEO to leave and get on with like a company that's about to go public or something? And she said in that Vanity Fair story, which was in August, that she didn't want to leave the company. So maybe something changed. Uh, who knows? Uh, maybe she had a great job. Maybe she just wants to take some time off. She's probably made a lot of money. Well, that might also be what you say huh? before you well, leave. You're, you're not going to. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to say if you're I want still to there. Leave. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm looking to leave. True, but but she made the point in the story that she wanted to stay, as opposed to not not saying anything. Okay. That story felt like it was written by a friendly person. So, you know, I I, I am speaking without any knowledge whatsoever. The amount of think if this is true is going to annoy me though. I'm going to rip his fucking head off because this is if he's really being a bitch about this, I'm going to have a problem with it. So keep playing it. Perfectly, I thought it made sense for everybody involved. So then I went from no shot to I think the job is ours to the point where I had the conversation with people close to me. Say, so, hey, you know, a week on, week off, blah, blah, blah. It worked for everybody. 
Hold on. And then there's a job promised to nobody at this point. You did not give the impression that it was I didn't think so either. No, yeah. on the show you were like, "That's an interesting idea." Yeah, and then, I, but like within if, three if minutes, if we if were he, even like, "It would be funny if Gus and if he's it. having these conversations with people." That's all. Oh, me, hundred percent. Like, uh, I mean, that, you know, again, Montati is great, but like, the fuck, is he doing? Go ahead. I was telling people, people are like pretty, pretty congratulating me on the well, job. Well, that's again, um, that's on you, Mike. Go. Like, that's on like. What, uh, uh, these people fucking drive me nuts. Go ahead. This is uh, chalkboard, or whatever, whatever that was. Yep. To Montante's. Yeah. People were congratulating me. I was like, hey, like, just so you know, like the sleeping giant is Justin. Like the in my eyes, the job is ours unless Justin does the right thing. But at this point, Justin always turned away, left the producer search, and it was kind of lined up for Chicago. So I didn't. I I thought it was an outside possibility, but I I knew if Justin was interested. It's his, and I, I couldn't. You can't be upset by that. You just, you, you simply can't. Okay, now let me ask you. Can I, can I ask you a question here? Ahead, if you don't mind. Absolutely. What did you think about today when he said that? Um, oh. He's not sure if Justin said no that he would have hired you guys. That it might have just stayed with Gus. Oh, hashtag Mick was right. Yeah, Kirky bits, Kirky bullshit. Yeah, that that's where he's like, all right, well, yeah, he, that that's where it's like, okay, well then, if that's the case, then, in a zillion years where just neither of us are ever getting, which yeah. is fine, which is yeah. okay. But I mean, because a week before that, he was like, I'm intrigued by this. The Emma boys. Do like, these guys listen to the movie. show? Like, I, he's I'm... a fucking cunt. Seriously, <laughs> fuck, his, fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. What a bitch. Jesus. What a baby. But do you think, like, when Justin was an intern, was there a day where you said, oh, Justin will definitely get the job in a couple of years? You know what I mean? Like, Maybe, that's but what, so, but... but I, I don't think there was. But, but, but I'm sure you probably said, the there's no way is, that idiot there, would work for me. Is, but the difference is, he was working for me. Well, he was here. He was here every day. What, but, what has Montante done? What has he done? I appreciate him coming here and doing the show. What has he done? He, like, offered to do a job part-time and did nothing to, like, show he could do it. Just like the time before. He didn't do anything. Like, I like him in when he's in the show. He's a good guy. As a matter of fact, I called this fucking guy. He says that on there, yeah. Called him. And I was like, hey, like, I like you and Mick. I want you guys. Like, in a perfect world, everybody will work for me. It'd be in a perfect world, I have eight people working on the show, 10 people. That's not how it works. And I said, well, I bet you guys, if you, we can try and figure something out. Like, I want, I want this to happen. And now he's bitching. Like, fuck that. And he said he's talking. He's like, he's like, oh, yeah, Julie and I are talking about putting together a show in New Jersey together. He said this to me on the phone the other day. First of all, that twat can go pound sand. You know, it's like, and Montante, too. Get the fuck out of here. Like, get, you entitled pricks. I have way more respect than Mick than I do for Montante. Way more. Putting together a show for you? And no, live like, from DJs. Yeah, live, they want to do it from uh, uh, Asbury Park, and, and which is fine. What, Montante and Julie? Well, my thing was, like, why don't we do something maybe down the road where we try and do, like, a pay-per-view in whatever, May or June. Oh, okay. mm. And with the money for the pay-per-view, I would just give my money. I'd be like, you guys take the money and do what you work part-time. Right. In addition to these two, just do stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I, in a perfect world, we'll have 10 people doing shit for the show, but it's not, that's not the way this show works. It's a small show. Like, I, like I, it's not a handout. Montante is a Republican. He's a fucking handout guy. He's a big liberal. He wants me to give him money to do nothing. He's a big, fat, liberal cunt. You're and that's so not brilliant. Kirky Bits. Go fuck yourself. Seriously. Come in here Thursday and beg for forgiveness or get the fuck out of here. You also offered him a sales job a couple of times, right? Yeah, he hasn't done anything. He hasn't done a fucking thing. And even before that, you had called him up on the show offering the position or whatever. Yeah, yeah didn't want it. Just didn't want it, which is fine. Like, I don't... Like, I like when Matata comes in here. He does a good job on the show. We have a good time. We showed the other day. He did well. But, like, I don't need whiners. Like, I... We got one, Mick. That's plenty. At least Mick's doing content. He's trying. Fuck is Montante doing? Being interviewed by fucking Dave from Hull? That retard? Like, <laughs> whoa, like what are we doing? My problem shut with the it. Fuck the, shut the fuck up, Montante. Do something or or do your show with little sick of fans and do your gambling and do your stuff. What, what, what's he do? Let's see. What, what, what has he contributed to today on social media? Let's see. If Montante was here today, what would we be doing? Let's see. Montante. Me and Julie working together. Can I ask between the. Uh, three, Mick, Montante, Gus. Where are you ranking them all now? Shut up. Well, I'm just saying. Oh, boy. Yeah, boy. It'd be great to have me here today. Two hours ago, grilled cheese poll. Breakfast, lunch, <laughs> both, neither grow up. He's winning me back. Wow. <laughs> yeah, gee. That's great. Boy, I wish we had him in there to talk about making grilled cheeses. What a genius. I've never heard of it for breakfast. Yeah, gee. Unbelievable. What a debate that would spark on the show. <laughs>
<laughs> Respect me then. It's like Kirky bits. It's like, well, I, you know, I said on the show, I was not comfortable. I said to them, I was like, I think I said to Montante, I don't love the idea of swapping guys every week. That, I just feel like that's not going to work. And, you know, like to Mick's credit, Mick, Montante also said he couldn't do that second job full time. Financially, right, he right. wouldn't. Mick said he would. Like uh, Mick is stock is way higher than Montante's. Way higher. Like well, close. So you know, I, and again, I like Montante. I know, but like when I call somebody and I'm like privately, I'm like, hey, this is why I don't trust him either. Because he would blab this shit away. And I was like, hey, I, you know, like you're gonna do, like you know, I'd like to do something with you going forward. And he's like, great, I really appreciate it. On the phone, he's one thing, and then he's doing this fucking bullshit. Like, who's the bits guy? I'm the same both ways. So. Yeah, I, I will know. say Montante is the kind of guy that might hear this and be like, ah, I fucked up or whatever. Like, maybe, maybe, one... maybe he'll double down. I don't know. Yeah. This was recorded between football games yesterday. Well, yeah, that's, 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 well, that's, that's, well, that's, that's the other thing, thing too. That's yeah. the, other, the other reason why I didn't trust him. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mon- oh, all right. Well, huh? He was calling in. What? Oh. Montante. For a split second there. But. No, he's welcome to come in here Thursday. I'm not taking this phone. I mean, yeah, yeah. come in Thursday or not. Hold yeah, on, breaking news. Thinking. Now we're talking on Twitter. Now we're talking on Twitter. Is it forced? Sure. Did I retweet it? Yes. At Beyond Average Mick. It's impressive how much of a moron at Blind Mike, you got, you got tagged, Mike, <laughs> okay. has been lately. I could scream till I'm blue in the face about it, but you'll ignore my words and continue this narrative. Enough <laughs> what of this am I lecture. Ignoring, Nick? Mick. Mike, may I finish the tweet? I'm sorry. That's fine. Enough of the lecturing from this fucking asshole. <laughs> Who the hell is he without Kirk or KMS? Fuck you, buddy. Well, that's my point, Mick. <laughs> is that I'm on the show. I'm a nobody T- that, team that is on the show. Maybe I have a little Mick wisdom to impart to you. Yeah. <laughs> just a team Mick on this one? Or? Oh, of course. Yeah, I think, I think, Mick's, I think Mick's on this one. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. I don't know how to get on the show, Mick. That's a good point. I think Mike is, too. I'm a beta <laughs> cuck. <laughs> I don't know. He seems hyper-focused on you lately. I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, well... Him and Snell. <laughs> is, it, is, is it a bit with him or something? I mean, we know it is, but like. It's because I talked about him, so he has to be the, the he has to respond to me in, a, in that sort of like tone. A harsher. He's got to raise yeah, the yeah, stakes. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not saying anything negative about him. I'm saying, Mick, you, 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 really you know might, I, I you might get a about, job really. someday if you stop complaining about not having a job. That's right. what I'm trying to get through to them. <laughs> I keep going back to at least he's trying stuff. It's ill-advised and usually doesn't land, but at least sure. he's doing stuff. Yeah. Like, I keep an eye on that. Where, I mean, this I don't care about. Obviously, there's no shelf life, but where, like, Montante ex- expects. Well, I'm, that's what I'm saying is do everything. Don't be right. like, oh, I guess I'll fill in if I have to. You should be excited to fill in. That's an opportunity for you. I would agree. But he, yeah, he's not built. He's, he's entitled as well. Right. Which like, are, the, I, who, I don't know, Mick, who are you without KMS? Are we well, talking about Mick on any other show? I don't, I'm pretty I don't sure know. I'm pretty sure Beyond Average is. Podcast not before that. Yeah, I think so. I yeah. think so. So I don't quite get that comparison. Is that a real, like, is Mick angry at me? He understands you what I'm tell, saying, You can tell, Justin, right? you know Mike. Mike's, this bothers Mike. A Mike's, little bit. Mike's a yeah, nice yeah. guy. You don't like Certainly. when people, yeah. Yeah, I don't like when people don't like me. Who cares but, if Mick doesn't like me? No, 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 but what I'm asking oh. is he understands my point, right? He well, has to. Well, Mike, you've made it clear. You keep, you keep telling us your point on this one. Don't worry about but it. But he understands. Mike, it's Mick. What are you worry? He's fucking insane. Don't worry about it. He's a madman. It's a moronic. It's moronic. If you mess him off the air, you're never on the show. What again. possible bad advice am I giving him? You're the master of good advice. I, I can't imagine. I, I can't. What does he think is so bad about what I'm telling him? What did, he call, did he say Mike was entitled or no? Is that what the tweet said or no? Entitled? Maybe I'm making that up. Let me hear. Okay, Justin. Enough of the lecturing from his fucking asshole. Lecturing, that's what it was. Who the hell is he without Kirk or Cam ass fuck you? So, no, one, that's my point, you idiot. Entitlement. <laughs> Stop burning bridges is my point. It's impressive he said how much of a moron you are, though. Okay. I've often thought that. I mean, yeah. it's, it is kind of a feat. That's, I, I like to think so. Well, there are like, plenty of drops about it. Yeah, and... It wants to be a mild like, moron. If you're right. going to go in, go in. Mick's a genius, so he can say these things. Damn straight. <laughs> I think Gus and Steve from Gloucester should read Erica's book. I have a great Yeah. I think, I think so. It'd be fun. Would That'd they each fun. take a chapter or no word by one word, one word the entire right next to each other <laughs> oh, the whole time? That's awesome. <laughs> That'd be exhausting. <laughs> well, you know how often they're gonna fuck that up, just naturally. <laughs> <laughs> and once they fuck up, they have to start over at the beginning. We're back tomorrow. Go to blindmike.net. Go to the blind Mike project. Go subscribe. Oh, I got breaking news. What's that? Mike Montante, I'm not going to be in New England this week. If you guys want to call later, all good. What do you got that, Mike? I think it's a swell. Mo- the guy, he's very busy. Justin, is that a push move or no? Yeah, I mean, now, now no. Mike's just doing the thing. No, right? no, I think he's, he's got... I think he... 
you earned a job already. <laughs> and I think, why should he schlep in here again to just you think, give you more free labor? Uh, Jesus. Well, anyway, that's sad. So, you want to give him a call? No, I do not. I'm not, I'm not playing that game. He wants to come in here, he can come in here. So I understand he's busy as well. Oh, he will be in Delaware. Oh, there you uh, go. We'll see about that. Some fireworks in we'll, Delaware. We'll see about that. Uh, okay. Uh, we're back tomorrow with Mutt. So I thought it was going to be Mick and Montana. I mean, does Mick and Carabas make sense or no? Do you want Mick tomorrow Mick with? Mick and Mutt makes more sense. Do you want Mick and Mutt tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. See if Mick wants that's to do the, that. He survived the, uh, the Mick day. Mutt was here that day. That's true. If Mick wants to do tomorrow, that would be great. Then okay. we'll figure out Carabas and tickets on Thursday. Okay. Okay. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye. So Mick has been going hard at Mike lately. Yes. I would say, yeah, I guess so, but more yeah. in response. I would, I would so there's, maybe... there's real, you know, I don't know, it feels like some tension here. So I figure you guys might as well settle it. But sure. as opposed to having you go after Mike here and then Mike going after you when you're, you might as well just do it when you're here, right? Right. So uh, uh, Mick had on Chris Castellani last night. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> a zero. So he, um, uh, uh but he had this. Was that you were talking about Mike in this clip? I saw right. It on, was the intro. Of the show, yeah, right? okay. pretty much. Yeah, Do we have that, Justin, yeah, or yes, no? I, or whoever. Yeah, Coleman has it to be clear. But yeah, we got a couple things here I want to talk about before we jump to that Castellani interview. Blind Mike, one Michael Geary. Good stuff. I like Blind Mike. Uh-huh. I like his content. Don't worry, he doesn't. We'll get that. What I like about Mike is him selling this narrative that like I am deserving when other people are not. That all is right, so, not what right, I am saying. Right, so let's go. Okay. So what is so that that's your that's your the crux yeah, of the, Are you gonna be you like, say be, Elena Dud and uh, Are you gonna be beyond like, average Mick or are you gonna yeah. be which, which version of Mick it? the yeah, drip yeah, today? Right. No, I am being serious. I okay. I thought this during the producer search. I thought Mike would say things like uh I have unearned arrogance or I have you know too much confidence that I haven't earned it and I, I, I kind of bit my tongue for a little while because I didn't. I truly don't remember saying that during the producer search. You said that you had this thing where I don't like you. If you would ask me, what did I say the other day when I said Cullinane was the obvious replacement to Steve, Justin was the obvious replacement to Dave? He said, who's the obvious replacement to Justin? I said, you, if you're not a fucking idiot about it. I don't know where you got that. I, was I nice to you when you were in here last week? Did I yeah, say you played I that you shit were. with Gus Wright? Yeah, so Mike so where, Mike, where are you getting Mike that I don't like you? I don't think that you've been like bad, bad I don't, bad I don't think Mike's ever been an asshole to, no. any, to anybody. No, I, but I think it's more of, that's what I'm trying to say. I think it's more coming from the way that you speak about me. I don't really think that you understand. I'm saying Hold about on, you Mike, that let, I have a problem let, let with. Talk, Mike. He's, you know, I think that you think that I, I have earned too much here around here, and you think that I believe that I'm no, somewhere that I'm not. You're incorrect. Go I don't ahead, think Mike. you've earned too much. I don't think you've earned anything. Do you, you think that I believe that I, I like? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. You think that I'm almost entitled to it? Yes. I don't think you've earned a paycheck. That, I think that, if you did, you'd be back there. I think if you showed that you were better than those two guys, right, you'd you, be back there. You continuously you say that though, Mike. Mike or no? I, I do. I do disagree with that, but I'm not. I'm not calling for their job though. You think you deserve a paycheck? Not to for being you here. If I, produ- if I produced here, yeah, no that, that's all. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Mick, I don't think I ever said that if you produced here, you shouldn't be paid. If you fill in, and you don't ask for a paycheck, that's what happens. You're filling in. Yes. If you say, "Hey, Kirk, I need gas money. I'm losing a day of work I, to come I, in here." But I don't want do, that. Do I have a problem with that? I don't think so. I don't. I don't want that though. I don't have. A, I don't. Well, have... then don't do it, Mick. Don't take the opportunity that's given to you. If you don't want to fill in, don't fucking Mike, fill in. I don't in. want your advice. I, How's that sound? I, I don't, don't give, give a, a shit fuck. about what you're hey, telling Mick. me, dude. I really, I could care less. Hey, Mick, you, you act like you're I'm some not, high horse, hey, dude. Mick, all you've ever no, I'm not gonna shut up, Mike. I'm not I don't giving care. you advice, I, asshole. Yes, all you've been I'm doing. giving my opinion on the show. That doesn't what it sounds like, Mike. I've never called you. That's not what it sounds like, I don't give a fuck about you, Mike. That's not what it sounds. I hope you keep fucking up. Keep losing the opportunities. I don't give a fuck. You've been saying that. You, you, you've been rooting against you're me an the entire time. Cocksucker. Why am I ungrateful? You're an ungrateful asshole. For you, I don't, have any, I don't owe you anything, Mike. He, Nothing. He gave you an opportunity last week. You cried like a baby and stormed out of here. But why did I do that, Mike? I don't know, because you're an idiot. And I'm in here. Should I say, Kirk, Mick doesn't care about my opinions? I'm not going to give them no. unless he cares. No. Do better, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, but when you're saying that I don't deserve to be paid here, or I don't deserve this, I'm going to take offense to that when I feel no, like I do. Mick. What I was saying to you is you should take every opportunity. If he asks you to fill in for free, you should do that because you claim you want a job here. If you don't, yeah. I don't but give I'm a fuck. I'm not going to be getting a job here, though. That, that's the thing that I think we are just missing. Like, okay, I well, kinda... that's a good attitude to have, Mick, then. You should leave. Why? <laughs> I, I, if he wants me to leave, I'll leave. But I don't. I, that's not why I'm here today is to just get a job. Every, that's not why I want to come into the show. I'll, want, I'll contribute. You should I'll be show, here because but... you want to be part of the show. Correct. 
And you said you want to be a producer for the show, right? I w- before so you should take Justin, every opportunity. If he asks you to go to a live show, you should do it. If he asks you to come in the studio, you should do it. If he asks you to fill in for free, you should do it. If he asks you to film something we for just free, disagree, to do a I, show on I the disagree. network, you should do it. Or say, Kirk, I don't want to be a part of it that badly. Well, I should, kind well, of he, want he, it, tried but I don't want to try that yeah, hard. Yeah, he's tried that before. But we know he wants to do it, and I understand right. that. But, like, that's not... You don't see the difference between filling in for somebody as a producer and doing all the work and then coming into the show and could, I just don't know I just there. I can be honest I just like I just don't know what your issue with Mike is like I don't get it like I, look I, I have a million issues with Mike but I'm just saying I don't I don't know what you think I said yeah, like, so I, what, am I, what am I missing you, like, you like, said, you, Mike you, everyone, everyone be quiet Justin and, and Coleman Mike myself everyone be quiet Mick for whatever 30 seconds explain your issue with Mike because I, 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 I I'm happy if I understand it then, then I'd be happy to have, have I don't side. care if Mike hates the the way I am on the show or anything like that but when he speaks on me thinking that I'm more entitled than other people in the producer search, I have a problem with that because we had this conversation last time we were here. We you talked about Yes, okay. on the air. Yeah. And you asked me, why do I feel like I'm more entitled than John from Scranton or Montante? I said, no, it's not them that I feel more entitled. I just feel personally that I've done enough to contribute here and earn a paycheck. Now, it's not my decision. I understand that, but like, I don't want to keep having that job dangled in front of me like, oh, you can come fill in, but like, you know, we don't know if Gus is coming back. That whole thing, that to me was a job kind of being dangled in front of me. Maybe that's, I'm wrong there, but that's are, how I felt it. That's, that's completely you imagined. Right. Okay. Mind. Like, I don't even know. Like, well, we, I mean, I can, I, can go, I can go back on Wednesday and pull the clip. So like, is the job being dangled well, in front of Montante, jo- all the people that applied? No, they weren't here. They weren't here Nick, saying, You hey, filled in two days. One on one of them, you walked out and had no one and produce the, the show. the guy fired, Mike. Right. If you waited a fucking week, that could have been but you. I don't, Maybe I he believe, never would have asked Justin. But that's the thing. I, I didn't believe that. that, I, that that's then the that's that your think, fucking problem, Nick. I guess so. I didn't believe I'd be on the Kirk Minahan show one day. Right. But I tried. I kept showing up when he asked me to. So here I am. Yes. What do you want me to tell you? I'm not qualified to give advice on a lot of things. I agree. I would say one thing is being here. Other, other than him, I've been in more than anyone. But Mike, I don't want to be in the position that you are in, though. I don't want to be in then this position. Then don't be. I don't give a fuck, okay. Mick. What, what, okay. position, <laughs> what, what position is that? What position is Mike in? Mike is in a position where he has his own content here, and that is what uh, the promotion value is what he's here, right? That, that's Correct. the trade-off? Correct. That's I, my, wrong? That's, that's the compensation. I wanted to be a part right. of this show. I worked out compensation that works for me. You could also try and do that, or you could storm out like a baby so you have content on your podcast. But I, it's not what I want to do, though. That, that's where you're, you're missing I it. I couldn't care less, Mick. Okay. <laughs> but, but, then but, don't but, do it. So say, Mick, I still, like, I, we're weeks later. I like it, but I don't quite get your point. Like, I just don't get it. I know, I, what, I know you have with what, one. With what? Just like what your bitch is about this. Like I don't I'm care bitching because I feel like he mis- Mick, represents my character Mick, in a very bad way when he talks about me like that. Okay, that, that's so, mad. So, that makes so, me so, very mad. So Mike's defined your character. I don't care Look, if he makes fun of my content. I don't care. I just that alone. I never makes have me mad. Okay, I said I don't care. I didn't say you okay, did. Okay, nope. Okay, I've never really listened to your content, so I don't know. But what I would say is, like, maybe it's different than Mike's take. Is I think you feel like you deserve that job. And you also feel like we're playing some game with you, like you're like Charlie Brown in the football right. with this job. And I, I don't. Two weeks that, ago, that, I did that, feel that way. Okay. I don't feel that way at all said, now. But you just said that. Like, I don't feel. I said. You just said it last Wednesday. Last you said two, that, when oh. I walked out here, they don't. Okay. That was that. So you don't feel that way now. No, we okay. had that conversation on okay. the air. You told me, hey, I can't promise you anything. You said it yesterday with Montante. I hear you. I Correct. get that completely. Okay. Well, okay. I watched your live stream the other night. This, this all comes from I heard your live stream the other night where someone asked, "Will you still fill in for the show?" Yeah, I clicked. You hesitated and said. I uh, you like you were you, not, I said I wouldn't love said, the, no, I'll tell you exactly what I said Mike I said I wouldn't love the idea of filling in for somebody's idea. show if I don't have a potential so to me, chance of working what there that, what that says you don't want and it then that Mike, bad I followed up by saying what it Mike what did I just say that you would do it I followed up by saying hey I know I didn't I think say that at all I said I'm gladly her Kurt I wouldn't talking about begrudgingly that's not begrudgingly saying you would gladly hurt somebody you said you didn't want to that begrudgingly you said you didn't want to no, I didn't. Mike. I think I you should I would be gladly grateful. help him. I think you should be grateful for every opportunity. I don't you care have if you think I should be grateful. I don't give a fuck if you think I should be grateful. I don't. Then don't be. Okay. <laughs> what do I I'm care? saying I would well, help I'm him. I'm saying you should be. Okay, cool. Great. I'm telling you that I would gladly help him anytime. And you're just acting like No, you I wouldn't, Mick, unless you get paid. You, only, you want to get paid for it. I I'm just, a- Mike, I said the opposite. I said the you opposite. Said the, yeah, you said the opposite every fucking time. You f- flip flopped okay. on it a million times. You want to get paid, but you don't want to get paid. I don't care. I don't care if he's grateful. 
I don't know. What the hell do I care? I think he should be. I, well, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, saying I but, think he should be. But, but, yeah, but I don't care. If it, whatever. If he does it great, if he doesn't do it great. I don't he, care either. I'm, I'm just saying, saying oh, but, I think he should be. Okay. I, I, mean, I think he should take advantage of those well, opportunities. What I'm, saying, what I'm saying is I don't care if he's if he's grateful. What I'm saying is if he does it, great. If he doesn't want to do it, great. Like, right. But, but, I, but I don't even know if he wants to do it or not. Like, I don't even get so if, Apparently, if, he if Justin was sick next week and I said, hey. Yes, I would help you. Yes. You would fill in. Yes. Okay. I, and I'd want to pay you, but then you would say, we want to pay This is the difference, though, is when Gus was suspended. Mm-hmm. It was almost looked like, hey, come on in. And then during that show, I don't know if you're doing it intentionally or not. Maybe you're fucking with me. But it sounded like, oh, we don't know if Gus is coming back. And it was started that I didn't know. But I didn't. But I, I didn't know. She's not I, here. Now. I understand. But I didn't my, know. I, I didn't know. I, and I felt at the time that he was definitely going to be back. I was wrong okay. about that. Right. I understand. But then ultimately somebody else is there. And I think it, it comes, Mike, it does come from like a passion. Like he does want to be part but of it. That's. Yes, I agree. Right. I think he, he's lying when he I says agree. he doesn't. Have, I'm saying he wants to be lying part of it. What? So you should do all that if you want to be a part of it. I'm, in two years, Mick, you're a young guy. You're 28. In two years, would that be crazy if you were if he's going to be here for four years? These two guys left. No, I'm saying don't fuck up now because right. you'll blow an opportunity. But how in the am future. I fucking it up? If with you don't him? take it, adv- how am I fucking up with Kurt? You're bitching about it constantly. But I'm not bitching about. I'm saying no, I would you're help right, him. Mick. You seemed like a real adult last or two weeks ago. You seem like a real mature guy who's got his fucking head on straight. But Mike, you seem like a guy who's grateful for all that. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Trying to say I'm some star content creator. No. That's why I was trying to work as a producer, you moron. Okay. It's just like, I feel feel like you're not listening. Who's you? Mike. I've made my tongue for a while. You guys are going to think this is a bit. He's been doing this for how long? He oh, said the same things about me since the beginning of the producers are just like, why is this kid so entitled? Why is he so on It's not like the fucking Reddit comments. Yeah, so that's really what bothers <laughs> oh, me. Oh, you only say that. But that's a, this is what I'm talking about. When you say, how long have we been doing this, Mick? To me, it doesn't... I've talked to you, what, five times in my life? It, it's not... Mike, it's not Eight, me and you. It's not, it's not a back and forth. But me you and you said, you're on this show but, quite a but, bit but, often. Okay, like but, I, you, it, but you said, Justin, how long did he say he's been trying to get a job on this show? Three years? Yes, you said that. I applied for a job here three years ago. You just have a hard so time believing that. in January of 2021... What were you doing to get a job on the show? I was, what do you, what do you meaning what? I wasn't doing well, content. I was trying to You said you've been producing. trying to get the job on this show for three years. What did you do? I've been keeping my name three around years like, ago. Just having a podcast and putting, what, what do you mean? What, what did anyone do? What did you do three years ago? I had a podcast. I was on the going. show three right. years ago. Okay, so what did you do before that? Well, I, you had your own I, podcast. Y- y- I also went to Fenway to fuck, fuck up truck day. I had Rich Keefe on the show. I did shit I thought would get him to notice me. I had Francis on the show. I had other, I tried to get people noticed. I tried to get bigger names on the show. I had Dustin oh, Poirier who, on. Who could forget, I suppose. Okay. But, oh, I mean, yeah, the, the EI street <laughs> but, team but days, right? Yeah, is, no, but but my great. point is three <laughs> years ago, Mick. What did you, you said I've been trying for three years. What, tell me about this struggle that you've had for three Mike, years. Mike, I didn't say I've been, where you deserve Mike, a I've job. I've been walking in the rain up these giant hills to get here. All I'm trying to tell you is I've wanted to work here. I, that's me trying to, that's me, so me trying to work. So do a lot of people, Mick. Okay. Fucking that, differentiate that, yourself. Okay, thank you. Again, your advice. You got great advice, man. I will. I'll absolutely yeah, I do. I <laughs> do. Okay. I, I just don't really want to hear what you have to say about what you think I don't I care. Do. Then don't listen to the show when okay. I'm on, I guess. I guess so, oh, yeah. Mick, how many people applied for the job? I have to root for all of them to get paid? First no. All, first I, of all, Mike gets Mike. Uh, Mike has built his own crowd now on Patreon. I'm very happy for him. I want. I, I yeah. So a lot of people I've, I've seen this. And I want to be big. If it's bigger than my show, I'd be thrilled. I legitimately don't care. I've accomplished everything. I want. I, I'm good. Uh, uh, but that is his. Like you do understand that. Like he I makes understand it, what? I just don't. I don't know what you're asking. That's my compensation. Yes, that's the, yes, the, yeah, the, yeah, that's the trade-off. You that's, understand that. Yes, he speaks to it like I don't understand it. If Patreon disappeared tomorrow, Mike would just get paid. Like, yes, the, and it, as I said after the day. And Mike has said in the past he doesn't want to. So, I mean, like, I've said a million times on the show, if you want to do it, we'll do it's that. It's a great trade-off for him, and I, I have no problem with it. So, the, again, why, so the, what, I he thinks I do. I don't know why. How many people? Do you think he wants Coleman and Justin not to get paid? No. How many people do I have to root for to get paid? No, I just feel like they, 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 you don't have to root for every single person. Like I'm saying, M I C K. Justin sucks and Coleman's gay. Go Mick. I'm rooting for you, buddy. I hope you get paid. Thanks, Mike. Mike's rattled. He is all right. I am. Oh, that was that was, that was a madman. <laughs> anyway, so they're talking about this yesterday, and it's just my guy Pat's the only guy I care about in that room now on uh, Barstool Radio. Do you think that was genuine though? Him? Oh, saying, Pat's a big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You tweeted it. You didn't see him last night. No, for yeah, sure. No, Pat's I just, a, Pat's the way it a, came off, maybe. I think Coleman, 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 why don't you call Pat and talk to him about it? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe. I don't know. I want to check. Do you have his number by any chance? I just want to make be thorough. It's my gay underground sources. 
Go ahead. Just make sure we're all still intact. And then just, you know, jet off who knows where. Yeah. What if we go the opposite uh, of that and just give it to Kirk for a week and see what happens? Oh, oh no, no, no. I'd be fired. Then, then the, the radio show's canceled and yeah, I'm fired, fired and we're all fired. So maybe and people would like that. I love and, Kirk. And there'll be a there'll be a slogan <laughs> on, over the bar stool that says women don't belong here. And that'll be it. I'm a minifan. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Pat's in a separate room. Yeah. <laughs> like, he is. <laughs> First of all, I was I actually Kelly's got some Kelly's got like guts. I'll give her that. She'll fight. Like I wouldn't fire her. The other one, I, like I wouldn't even know who she is. So she'd survive too. She's a zero. But like I've said this a million times, and this is what I don't like about this is I treat women equal to men, and women don't like that. Some where it's like if I think K Marco sucks, I'll say he sucks. I think if I think uh, I'm trying to get somebody else a bar, so Willie Cologne, that show sucks. Sure. I would say it sucks. If I think that somebody writes a blog that stinks. Or Dale Arnold stinks, or fucking uh, Tommy Curran stinks, or whoever. I'll fucking say it. Nate, I, I, do I have to list the number of fucking men I've criticized in the, like, in the history of the show? Well, she did a wrap-up show for a show where you told Jeff Lowe you're going to blow up his house and chastise the right. male producer. Mm. So. Yeah, like, Rob the producer, I think, stunk. It was a woman that, I, you know, honestly, it was a woman that wouldn't go as hard at them. So, like, if, if that's what you want to hear, like, she's right, I, I guess. But, like, so, but then when you criticize a woman, so there are some women, some can take it. But there are some who immediately hide behind that because they know they don't have the skill uh, or the ability, whether you're Caroline, who stinks. Like, Caroline stinks, okay? And um, I'm trying to give a guy at Barstool who stinks. I guess there aren't any. Chaps? Chaps stinks. Like, he's a fucking zero. Clummer's a zero. But, like, Chaps stinks. Like, he shouldn't have a job. Like, he sucks. He's talentless, brings nothing to the table. He sits there and watches guys hit golf balls in Chicago all day. Like, he should be gone. He should be dishonorably discharged. He stinks. <laughs> so, but like, I also think that like, you know, uh, Caroline stinks. Well, I'm going to treat them equally. To me, that's being a feminist, honestly. I've said that forever. So like if Kelly Keegs or or that's uh, Fran's sister or Rhea's sister? I that is Fran's sister. Okay. Yeah, that's Gia. If she yeah, can't handle Gia. it, yep. like, that's fine. Like, okay, or Caroline, block, ignore, mock the other one who does the, the podcast with Arian and with PFT. Mad dog, yeah. Yeah, so you're very good. Go, good, good, go for it. But like, you stink. Like, I mean, you're a woman and you stink. There are guys who stink. There are white guys who stink. There are black guys who stink. There are Asian guys who stink. There are Asian women who stink. Da, 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 fucking everybody stinks. Mick stinks. Like, what, what do you want? What do you want me to say? Now, I've been doing this now for a million years. If you want to make a list of the fucking men I've criticized, next list of women I've criticized, I feel pretty confident which list will be longer. I feel pretty confident about that. Where's that come? Is that like the Ellie Schnitz stuff, or where did this start? Probably, but no. It's, when you're defined by that, like these women at Barstool, that group have defined themselves to that now. Then it becomes a cone, a protective thing. If anybody criticizes you, it's because you're a woman. Right. Whereas, like, I don't give a shit if if Kelly Keeks has twelve vaginas, forty six penises. I don't give a fuck if she says something dumb. I say she's dumb. If Kevin Clancy, who stinks, says something dumb, I'll say he fucking stinks. Like what? Like what are we doing here? Like why are we? You know, like, uh, I don't even understand it. Do you think it comes from, like, Kevin having to warn the employees? And, you know, maybe no, this that predates thing, like, that. Okay. This predates yeah. that completely. Mick, Mick's never listened to the show. Yeah, it completely right. predates, <laughs> like, it doesn't even, like, it, it, it's crazy. I Ma think, I think's a guy. I'm pretty sure I criticized him today. <laughs> I think it's, like, the way and you Julie, said, you, I've criticized. She's a fucking woman. She stinks. Like, this is, this is how it works. I think this is the only place left that fucking does it, honestly. You'll use, like, harsh language. You'll go at these people pretty hard, and people don't do that to women. Now. That's that's sexist. That, that's what it is. Yeah, that's sexist. That's, that's where I think people like Kelly developed that opinion. But the thing is, every other show yesterday, whether it was Yak or KFC Radio, all made the same. Even in Barstool Radio, I think later at some point they all made the joke of like, "Oh, the the girl CEO's gone now. The boys can play." Like you didn't do that yesterday. You know what I mean? No, I like hair. Every guy, other show did that. Yeah, I mean, so I don't know why their problem is with you. I don't, no, I, I think don't they should one. like they should hire a man to run the company now. <laughs> well, if they wanted to be successful, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. I mean, what are we doing? <laughs> we can all put our uh, pussy hats on, I guess, right. and have fun. But if the best candidate, if the best candidate, if Dave thinks the best candidate for the job, he interviews. If they did it, they're not going to do it. it. Was a man, he should hire him. If it's a woman, he should hire her. If it's a black man, he should hire him. If it's a white woman, he should hire her. If it's a white, a black woman, he should. Like, like, I, I've had it. I'm tapped out, uncle. Like I'm good. I'm all set. Uh, there was a Mount Kirkmore last night. Okay. That one of the guests, uh, Dr. Vodka, are you familiar I've with seen, him? No, I've seen the name. The uh, yeah. I've, I've seen him on Twitter. Yeah, familiar. I don't know him. Yeah, I think yeah, he's yeah. one of the trolls and stuff like that. Oh, uh, yeah, was, yeah. Uh, 
It was worst. The the Mount- it was worst show bits, right? Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I like I like McFuss to have the NBA. So to be fair, this segment had a disclaimer before it that was filmed afterwards by McFuss Daddy. A disclaimer? Yes. Wow. <laughs> really? All right, wow. go ahead. So this is worst show bits. Yes. All right, go ahead. Hey, everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for making it this far. I uh, wanted to jump in here before Vodka makes his first pick and let you know that Vodka's <laughs> views do not match the views. Of- <laughs> <laughs> this is much like All in the Family. It is. It's true. <laughs> Jesus, Colin playing that for you, Mike? <laughs> is that Bud York um, or McFuss Daddy? <laughs> Go ahead. Works or Mount Kirkmore's or anybody, anybody watching this, I'm sure is going to absolutely disagree with Vodka. He's an absolute 100% drunk just from North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, what's his pick? Here, I'll just do it. Um, so th- he w- this was his first pick. He was the second. He had the second pick in the first round. Second was the first overall pick. Uh, the first overall pick was. Oh, uh, Rico calling in. Okay, it's a good pick. That is a good pick. <laughs> it's a good, very good pick. Go ahead. All right. Uh, my first pick is Kirk pretending he's going to kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's funny. <laughs> that's very funny. Threes coming from all over the place, and then everything that could go wrong, you know, foul, ball goes in, and one, stops the clock, turnover, turnover, miss free throws when you got fouled. It was crazy. Could I make one point? Sure can. I just want to say that earlier, you had a very patronizing tone towards me. I fully understand what a slip screen is. Did I deal? Yes. Was Mike Fratello? I believe so. Was he kidding? No. What did Fratello say to that? <laughs> Keep going. You had a very patronizing tone towards me. I fully understand what a slip screen is. I've been doing the NBA for 18 years. But the way you presented it initially was gobbledygook. So, like the audience, I wanted you to come back and explain yourself. This is me and Mitch. I was just going to say. This is, this is just like this. <laughs> what does Fratello say? Yeah. Like Mick knows what a pop filter is. <laughs> Jesus. And just took a firing line on me. Yeah. And it was uncalled for. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in second grade, I uh, I wrote a paragraph for or like an essay that got my parents called, and uh, it was it was pretty bad. It was what did you want to do more than anything in the world? And I wrote an entire paragraph on how much I wanted to have hot sex. Ooh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, wait a second. You still have this? No, I, my parents might have it, but they know the story because my mom would like leave Cosmos around, and I was starting to read, and like all on Cosmos was like. Yeah, it's like, like guys story. want hot sex, like right. ways to blow his mind. And I would read it, and I would like obviously getting turned on, but I did not know what like, was going on. What was going so on? So turn to the written word. So, <laughs> so in, uh, for like a test or something, my teacher we had to write like, what do you want more than anything in your world? So it's like, oh, I'm gonna blow everyone's mind because all these older guys want hot sex. So I wrote sure. like a paragraph about how much I wanted to get laid and wow. how like all my friends would love me, even though I did not know what sex was. What grade and was this? Second grade. Oh boy. What happened? Uh, they called my parents. I had to get interviewed because they thought I might have been being like molested at home. <laughs> um, That's where it started. It was more of a confession than anything else, Mike. I remember oh. thinking I was uh, I was in like so much trouble and like my dad like nothing happened to me, but my dad was bullshit with my mom. Because of her Cosmo stuff? Because yeah, she would just leave it around. And my dad's like, these are fucking porn mags that your son is just picking up and like getting turned on. <laughs> then he's going to Justin school Flint. telling everyone. <laughs> Jesus, no kidding. Huh. Couldn't really hear that story, but it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll ask Mick and Mike. We'll see who knows more about Jared Fogle. I suspect Mike will. <laughs> How many pounds did Jared claim he lost? Mike, you go first. 155. Mike? 240. 245. He knows, wow. he, knows, he, knows, he, knows he knows the predators. You can't go, you cannot that's, go. That, I, I didn't do this, but that's a guess that sounds like I was just like five pounds off to make it seem like I didn't know. <laughs> so we, I, I thought about having Mike Troy that doesn't, you know, that'd be just tough on t- YouTube. We're playing whatever. Brandon's team. It's like, Brandon, you're uh, I think that's the NFL draft. Mike, yours is child rapist. <laughs> I'm getting people tweeting at me saying that they missed the fight today because this is, I swear to God, two tweets in the last hour from two different people. They missed the episode today because they thought it was a mutt day and they weren't watching. Oh, <laughs> that's not true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> You're just doing that to upset them. I'm dead serious. <laughs>
All right. Uh, so tomorrow, 930, be ready. Stay there. We'll be promoting it all day. Uh, be ready to go. Mick, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you Saturday. Mike as well. Uh, Justin and Cole, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. State Theater, we Portland, go. Maine. We are live, correct? Yep. Yes. The General on Sale is live. I am going to redeem myself and redeem you people for what we had to go through in Plymouth. That is a Kirk Minahan promise. If not, uh, you get your money back on the, on the, when you walk on the way out of there. That's a promise. That is a promise. We're gonna, we are going to bring it that fucking night. Me right here by myself. These keep, you can't get a fucking podcast. You think you'd be able to run the fucking show in Portland? The uh, odds, as always, are against Podcast Jesus, and as always, I will come through, whether it's Colonnade, Coleman, Justin, Steve, fucking Julie DeCaro, friggin' Julie fucking idiot from fucking New York, any of these fucking people. I'm going to overcome the odds once again and deliver the greatest live show because I am the greatest live performer on God's green earth today. Yeah, I gave her an extra $100. 400 bucks. Yeah, gave her 400 bucks on Christmas. 400 bucks to clean the house is a, that's a lot of money. I'll clean your house for 400 bucks. I would have Justin Trudeau. Can we, have him do, can we have him do that one time? Yeah. All right. Oh, that'd be awesome. You'll do that, Justin? Oh, yeah. $400? Can I make a video of it? It's more he's getting from yeah, me. Of course. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah. $400. Does I'm he have actually, to, does he have to team happy. up or does he, is he, it's a, like. No, it's still a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I going to do? With the car, I'm saying with the car and clean. I, I don't oh, know. Oh, okay. Well, as long as she doesn't want to get any of the $400. I mean. Yeah, no, I understand. So that'd be an offer. Well, it's not, that's a Christmas bonus. No, yeah, that's $400. I'll do it for three. I'll do it for three. Well, you'd have to do my laundry too. So now you're down at two thirty. I don't want you to do my laundry. No, no, no. Just clean the house. Mm. Okay. okay. He can't do your sheets? <laughs> no. Okay. No. Fine. So you'll do that. Get him Musk. in there. You're, yeah. you're going to do that then? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where do you score it, Justin? Uh, no bits. Like, wh- wh- how do you score it? Mike won. Mike, Mike won. won pretty convincingly. I think even but anytime like, Mike gets loud like that, though. Oh, he's dude, a, oh, he, oh he, he was tri- He was he triggered. Won, he was not even arguing. He was definitely triggered. He won, but he also won. I think against. I think anyone could. No, have I mean, yeah, he beat a that. fucking retarded. I don't. Th- I don't like, think. I don't think Mick's a... ever won a, a fight on on the show. No, his girlfriend fucking beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Mick's lost in this weird area where Mike, there's like, at there's an advantage the plugola or whatever from coming on here and doing his thing. Yep, Jared knows Mick that. Mick is lost in this area where he's like. He doesn't understand that concept, but at the same time, he thinks he can parlay this into something bigger where Which he can't a explain. normal person, what made me sick about that fucking argument with that kid sick was like, isn't it just kind of fun to come in here? I thought so. This? Yeah. Like, like imagine like if Bruce Springsteen was like, Hey, just come jam with me. I, I my guys are fucking, they got COVID. I need someone to jam. And then you're like, Oh, fucking Bruce Spring, not comparing you to Bruce. No, I like this applause, comparison. But like, <laughs> no, I'm fine with that. like yeah. but like imagine having the fucking audacity to be like, Hey, I got to go back there and do the, do the sticks or whatever. And then like sit in here and do this and then just be like, Oh, you owe me something. That's fucking stupid. Like I, what do normal people like John from Warren or like the normal people that come in just to have a good time. What do they get out of coming in here or, or repeatedly even? No, like, but, I, but I also think I, they do I like know. what they, they also do get the, like it's a version of a small version. They like, like Pat Ford will like being recognized and like me, like I get that, like going to like the Friday night show, all that they enjoy sort of this within the world celebrity, but they're not, but they're also realistic about it. Like some people like are like that, which I get, like it's fun. You're on the show. You know, like the Julie stuff, all that stuff. But, like, we've done this. Mick thinks he's, like, entitled to something. And nobody's entitled to anything in this world, on this in this particular little world, except for me. Can't That's you it. Like, it's my show. Oh. I could do whatever. I, I could fire both of them today. I could tell you guys. Like, I could bring everybody else in. Other than that, like, there's nobody else to, is entitled to anything. Like, that's how it works. Fair is fair. Yeah, I mean, I, but it doesn't mean, that I, you know, I like having Mick in here. It's fun. I thought it was funny yesterday. I'm more because I know what Mick is. I just like when Mike gets like worked up. It's very funny. It's very he's funny. so mad. He's like lecturing. M I C K. Justin sucks and Coleman's gay. <laughs> he's so. He's so. He's like he's having no no sense of humor, but it's very funny. I think it's very funny. He yeah. rarely hits fifth gear. Yeah. He's like an old sports, but like when he gets there, it's fucking fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Mick was losing his mind. It was good. Uh, I'll I, score a ten nine, Mick, just to piss Mike off. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I you need so. that judge. You need that yeah. dissenting judge. Yeah, somebody has to. Yeah. Uh, where were you at a call, on a call in your, your intricate scoring system? I think, oh, I think I wound up with like 10. I don't, I don't really know how I would score this. Do you know how boxing scoring Not works? Not really. Right? <laughs> yeah. I was trying to think. Not really. <laughs> okay, who won the fight? Mike. Mike. Nominated. Yeah. But, but it was closer than you would think. I have no idea. Yeah. Coleman would never be a father. 
What's new in your life? Come on. What? We can adopt. <laughs> <laughs> there was, I'll tell you a very funny Jerry Callahan story. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. So it was one of the few moments where Jerry was actually like funny, funny. So Phil Zachary, who was the old uh, vice president at EI at Intercom, <clears throat> called us in one day. And he, this was like at the peak of Murchison and the Riot Act. And, uh, and Phil's like, listen, we're getting letters all the time now about this in protest. Like, we got a letter from this, from this gay man. He said that he and his husband were in the car driving and their son were in, was in the car. And that they heard Kirk Minahan say that he's not going to lick somebody's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and he said that the son asked the, the, uh, the, his, his father, was like, what does that mean? And the father didn't know what to say. And this is like every day we were in like heat and Jerry and I were not taking it well. And I couldn't believe Jerry had this moment of humor. He was, he was actually being funny. He's like, Phil, I got something to say about that. He's like, how could two He's like, how could two guys have kids sexually? It doesn't work. Like he was, but he did it as a joke. He's got to understand. Like he knew about the adoption. He's like, and Phil's like, you guys just get out of here. <laughs> and we just giggled down the hall. Like it was actually like a rare like light moment in all the madness. What does that mean? Really it was actually very funny. It was very funny. Uh, you guys are still not speaking. We're so, well. Jerry's not speaking to anybody right now. I don't think. <laughs> but we haven't spoken in. It's been over a year. No, I don't think that's right. Not yet. No. But I think we're getting there. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think so. But, like, I think that's better for both of us. It's just, it's, sometimes it's just, like, it's just, it's poison, so. Is but it? I wish him well. Like, I don't have any ill will now toward him. Like, he's, I hope he's okay. I actually do hope he's okay. I was talking to Mud about that yesterday. And, like, I don't know. I, I reached out. I didn't hear from him. So, I hope he's doing okay. Well, I don't know. That's life. You know, it's like you and Steve Pearl. It's like Waters, Waters and Gilmore. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Jerry is a lot like um, Waters. Yeah, he's got some takes. <laughs> he some takes. Yeah. He has some takes. Oh my god, this there one, it is. Oh, this one's called Scat with Corn a lot. Oh, it, 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 it oh. is a lot. <laughs> this guy's eating the other guy's asshole while he's shitting. Oh. oh my god. That's just uh human centipede. Ah. Oh. You would know better than me, Coleman. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Chinese woman pooping part four. This is the fourth part in the in the series. Just wow. Just to throw up? Justin's going to puke. It's tough. Ugh. What did you just see, Justin? All right, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking that that's so a this drop. This is a video. Literally, this woman, look at this. She's going <laughs> down there. I can't walk right there. If she goes. going to fucking puke. Oh, my. She's literally going to take a shit. Where's the shit going? I don't know what that is. It's like, oh, God, fuck. Oh God! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Justin just took a walk. I'm gonna throw up too. Fuck! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh, <dude>. oh, fuck! <laughs> you good, bro? Oh my God! What <clears throat> happens to a person where that makes your wiener hard? But again, yeah. I can't. I don't. That's, that that's a perform. I mean, it's weird. That's her job, though. Job. Is it that? Is that a job that looks like an amateur <laughs> shoot? I don't know that those are 4K that is, that is definitely a camera ad. <laughs> Girl in the Hill bathroom at the end. Oh, no, There's no. There's no question. That's yeah. Justin. That He's got the Chuck Berry <laughs> <laughs> toilet No camera. question. Oh, what'd you see, Justin? Don't send me that. Oh, that one. Oh, it was like, it was, it, I think the title was, it was like shit with a lot of corn, and there was a lot of corn. <laughs> there was a lot of corn. I'm deleting this video from it. I can't, I can't, I can't ever look at that again. Scat with corn a lot is the video oh. on... Poo poo's in this that. vid.com, <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's going to haunt my dreams. It's what? called Scat with Corn a lot. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if he adjusts, he is the cleaning product, so if he vomits, it'll be fine. It just doesn't look like. <laughs> <laughs> watch it again. I want to say, can you watch it? Because you're not doing a great job describing it. Can you seriously watch it one more time? Yeah. Okay, just give me a second. For the, no, pe no, for the no. people that can't Please, see. Please, I don't. People, are, it's just a visual. Just, so it's going, just watch Col it. Coleman's truly. Experience a new way to jerk off. Oh, that's yep. an ad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, the ad's oh, that's so fast. Yeah, just uh, close up vagina. Where's, where's the skip button? <laughs> Justin's so blind too. It's ending in fifty. You gotta wait for the ad. Give me okay. a second. Mm -hmm. So explain the scene to me, Coleman. Okay. So mm -hmm. right now it's just an animated girl just it, rubbing. Yeah. She, she's a very clean pussy. Is there any she, exposition? Is there like a she's setup? A, she's a cartoon character. Yes. Yeah. It's but like, 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 like turn, it up, turn it up. Turn it up. She's like CGI. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's it's just one long string <laughs> and then like <laughs> corn contained inside. 
and oh, fuck yeah. and you can see the pulsating <laughs> of the actual rectum there as it comes through. This one's taking a little longer. It's oh, like a slow oh, I just, drip. I just heard that. Slow drip. And oh. there you go. Beauty. <laughs> How many times have been viewed? Does it have the views or no? Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> the comments are awesome. She ate the whole damn cop. <laughs> uh, hello. Oh, <clears throat> hey, Kirk, it's on. It's Coach Belche. Hello? <laughs> Coach, how are you? Nice to talk to you again, sir. It's been a oh. few days since we last talked. Yes. Yeah, thanks. Um, you know, I just wanted to call. I know there's been um, uh -huh. there's been some discussion about you know intervening with Atlanta. Sure. Um, you right. know, whether politically mm -hmm. driven. Yeah, um, we've been hearing really that. Really, what it, you know, what it comes down to, though, Kirk, really is you know strip clubs. Oh, I mean, wow, Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. What was the famous one? The Gold Club? Was that what it was? Well, you're talking about you know, Magic City. I mean, you're talking about the Pink Pony. <laughs> I mean, Onyx. I mean, Kirk, there's. <laughs> Yeah, Coach you know, there's over, you know, <laughs> yeah, there's 30, 30 strip clubs in Atlanta. Yeah, no, I, know. I didn't and know so, that, Coach, yeah. You know, now, typically, you know, the, you know, the <laughs> clientele is, yeah. you know, a little bit darker shade than I'm used to. Oh, well, that's um, okay. Yeah, sure, that's fine. But, you know, but as, as Tupac said, um, you know, oh. the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. So, <laughs> oh, I didn't realize um, you were a fan of his work. Well, that's great, yeah. Coach, how about the, well, no, if, 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 I'm sorry, Coach, to interrupt, given all your success, I shouldn't do that, but... What about the staunch political <laughs> beliefs of ownership for the Falcons? I mean, and that must, given that you wrote a letter once, that must supersede all football matters, I would think. I, what do I know? I mean, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> sure. No, I understand, Coach. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm here to win ball games and bank chicks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Coach. I think we've got a winner. Justin. That's such a good Belichick, dude. Yeah, that, was <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, boys, good job with uh, Portland. Get ready. Get ready to get work on this fucking live show now. Uh, appreciate everyone buying their tickets. We'll have a good time. Uh, Delaware on Saturday. Four shows next week. Uh, we'll talk to you back on this show with uh, Mike on Monday. We'll see you then. Goodbye.